birthday. It's Katie's birthday. One years old. We are getting ready to leave again. Ah! <laughs> right? First time ever in Texas. Welcome to Texas. Uh, All right, what made you happy today, baby doll? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. This is Mike. We are It's the Donnellys. Today we are in Maryland. Do you have anything to say? It's another day we should excel, Jill. Look at that. Mike has his name tag on. He's getting ready to go to work. Um, we are in Maryland. If you guys are new to the channel, we kind of go back and forth. We live between Maryland and Florida. And right now we're in Maryland. And it is a very special day today. Why is it a special day, Mike? It's Katie's birthday. It's Katie's birthday. Five years old. She is. Big girl. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, guys. That was beautiful. Oh, we miss our little baby girl who's not a baby girl anymore because now she's 20. Are you having a good 20 so far? Yes, it is. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, okay, she listened to this. So Annie picked me up last night from the airport. And which was so incredibly kind of her. It was. And also, there were no milkshake places open, so I didn't get her any. <laughs> Annie sent me a text asking me what your favorite flavor was. <laughs> because she's just an angel. She is an angel. Um, so we get home and we were like planning like today and I was gonna hang out with Bailey and Ellie today because McKenna and Annie both had work and so well, you explain the story because okay. you know the details yeah. so basically I'm like a full-time nanny well not full-time it's like Monday through Thursday and I had yesterday off like all right so sorry about that the video stopped because I got a phone call in the middle of it which I declined and I kept talking to Katie but it stops my video anyway so I think what we're gonna do today is we, so Katie's at the beach with her friends as you might have been able to hear I'm not sure she's at the beach in Florida with her friends celebrating her birthday which is amazing I'm so very happy for her because that is definitely one of her happy places and Mike is headed off to work for the day bring home the bacon Go, Mikey, go! Never let you forget I'm a man! Cause I'm a woman! <laughs> Anjali. Anjali. Okay, you guys, comment down below if you remember that. If you know what Anjali is, tell us what that is. Cause that is definitely a blast from the past. Alright, so let me tell you what happened to me last night. So you guys, I got home. I went to visit my sister-in-law for her birthday yesterday. Wait, let me set this up because this is kind of a funny story. Okay, so I went to visit my sister-in-law in North Carolina for her birthday yesterday. My, my, my sister, my other sister-in-law and I surprised her for her birthday and took her out to lunch. So it's just like I flew down for the day and flew back. So last night I got home kind of late and I was in the Uber and I'm watching these TikToks, right? So this TikTok comes up of a live performance of Barry Manilow singing... Uh, it's called In the Magic or something about magic. And I'm obsessed. I am like obsessed with it. So I'm watching it and I'm literally only like this. Because I remember that song and Barry Manilow's voice was just enrapturing me. So I'm reading some of the comments and then I go, like it was like a four minute video. So then I go back and I watch it again and I'm like, oh my gosh, where has Barry been? Like it's time for a Barry Manilow resurgence. At least in my life, right? Maybe he doesn't need a resurgence in others because he's already there. Have a great day, baby. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. So I get on Apple Music and I pull up Barry Manilow Essentials and I fall asleep, try to fall asleep to a Barry Manilow concert, but I am so like, like jamming to Copacabana and then I'm singing to, um, What's it called? Uh, the postcards from New England or something like that, whatever. Anyway, it was a blast. So I'm here to tell you, if you don't know who Barry Manilow is because you're like too young, look him up, B-A-R-R-Y-M-A-N-I-L-O-W. If you are of my age and you know who Barry Manilow is, I'm telling you, get back on the Barry train. I was thinking like, I need a t-shirt that says I'm in my Barry Manilow era. Like I am all about Barry Manilow right now. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, Ryan is still sleeping and I'm going to um, go in and say hi because I haven't seen him in a long time. He flew home, yes, but 
back up here to Maryland yesterday from Florida while I was in North Carolina. So let's go see. Sunny D. Okay. Well, this is the thing. So when he came, he flew home last night and then he went over to his friend Nathan's house. He hasn't seen him in a bit. And he, I think he got home at like 3 a.m. He just lives up the street. So I'm going to let him sleep while I do a little bit of work. And then we have an exciting day today. Not only is it Katie's birthday, but Ryan, Mike, and I are flying to Dallas. And we will tell you why we are flying to Dallas in a few minutes. Well, good morning, Ryan finally woke up. Good morning, Ryan. Well, I say good morning. I, I use that term loosely. It's 1.55 in the afternoon. Right, right, right. That's okay. I told everybody you were out last night with uh, your friends. You are out with Nathan, right? Well, I was literally just up the street. Not at his house. Yeah, it's not like you were <laughs> out partying. Exactly, right. Yeah. So what's going on here? All right, so i got a little breakfast going. Today it's going to be three pancakes, two pieces of toast, two eggs. No bacon today. She don't have any, but she's very, so I'm pretty happy with it. So okay, if I could just jump in, I think it's pretty genius. Ryan calls it his two, two, two breakfast. Yeah. It's two eggs, two, well, it should be two, 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 two. You probably, maybe you do do that for two eggs, two pancakes, two pieces of toast and two pieces of bacon. Mm -hmm. I drench this in syrup and then I go either chocolate milk, regular milk or water. Okay. For breakfast. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, we have I, carrot juice today. Would you like carrot juice? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm trying to eat more. I don't know if I ever said that on the film. You, you, I don't think you uh, have. Tell, I, talk to me about that. I, I I looked in the mirror and I was like, you know what? I'm going to college soon. Can't go to college with my kid. I got the kid build right now. <laughs> I'm trying to eat more. Look you know, like a man. You look like a man. Trying to get a broader chest, bigger shoulders. You know, just trying to. You know, Brennan's not gonna beat himself up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you might. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to start training because. Right, it's kid, about that time. My kid's ahead of me, so. Okay. You know, also, you know, I just want to be bigger. Bulk up a little, yeah. This was after dinner, but I waited at one fifty six and then packs. Wow. After a big dinner, I had two burgers, a hot dog, oh, a bunch of baked beans, um, and uh, you know, so. Yeah. It was after all that, but. Trying to get bigger, and this is gonna help me. Okay, enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Absolutely. We are getting ready to leave again. Ah! <laughs> nobody look. Nobody look. Nobody look at the room. Wait, let me put it on. Wait, you want me to do that? That's a better view right there. So Ryan's bed is a trundle bed, and we had the trundle out because Brennan slept in the trundle one night when he came back last week. So, gosh, this is a very long description, but. Don and Ray were here, mm -hmm. and so they were taking up the guest bedroom, or not the guest, right, Brennan's bedroom. Brennan had to sleep in my bed, so basically, uh, it's still out because they rushed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we had a very rushed uh, uh, exit. Uh, exit to the <laughs> airport. And oh, right, because I called, and I was like, oh, you guys got to get on this flight, and so you're I had the, So, like, I couldn't put the bed back. I just left it all like this, and then... And then it's he came just up. Not great. It's not great. It's not and great. he came up and brought his uh, golf clubs, which mm -hmm. is cool. By the way, I have your stuff. Oh, thank Jeez. you. You guys, I've been up here. I've been up in Maryland longer than I thought I was going to be. Again, if you've watched, you know that we go we go back and forth. Like generally, I come up here to work, then I go back down to Florida and live, and then come back up. Well, this has been. Oh, thank you very much. You. Ever since we got back from the cruise, I haven't been back down because I've been working and. Um, Flying and all that kind of stuff. We've had visitors, yada, yada. I picked up a few clothes from my closet. <laughs> like, Ryan, can you please bring some stuff up? The birthday banner, because it's Katie's birthday, and we always travel with the birthday banner. That's, that's the colorful thing over there. No, have to. A couple pairs of shoes for me, the white shoes maybe, yeah. and a dress, because I'm just running out of clothes. So thank you. So we will, um, we're getting ready to go to Dallas. Texas. Ryan and Mike and I are going to Dallas, Texas this afternoon. So when Mike gets back from work, we'll get all ready. Yeah. Should we tell him what it's about? Okay, so I have been accepted to a Southwest camp in Dallas, Texas. It is a two-day camp during the summer for kids of employees to kind of just go tour and learn about the company. I don't know exactly what I'm getting into, but I know it's going to be fun. I've never been to Texas before, so I'm really excited to go. Uh, but our flight leaves today. 
And so we'll go and spend two days there and I'll get a see the ins and outs of, ins and outs of a major airline company, which I think that opportunity is pretty cool for anyone. Um, so I'll get to go, learn about the jobs, probably see some planes, hopefully, and uh, check out the company. So I'm super excited <laughs> and uh, get to see the Lone Star State. Yeah, we go around Dallas as much as we can. I have to say, I'm a little jelly because I got a look at your agenda of what mm. you're going to be doing. Oh, my hair looks cool, funny. And you are going to be going and visiting places that we weren't allowed to go to. So I'm a little bit perturbed because <laughs> there's this thing called the NOC. It's the NOC. It's the National Operations Center, mm -hmm. which is literally like I would probably give my right arm to go in there and tour <laughs> and you get to tour the NOC. Let's go. It's like where everything happens. It's like the it's like the epicenter That's of awesome. all of it. That's awesome. Yes. So it's going right. to be cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they're trying to get people interested in aviation. Yeah. Which is cool. And I, I, wouldn't, know. I wouldn't say I'm not interested. So. Right. You're very interested in... Um, and boating, what's that called? Like uh, marine. Marine, exactly. But we'll get some but, aviation. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Dallas, just the three of us. So it's very exciting. It's a bummer, kind of. We're leaving on Katie's birthday. Yeah. So that's why Katie was like, "Well, you're not even gonna be here on my birthday." So <laughs> she went to. She's down in St. Augustine, Florida, with her friends, having a blast. Mm -hmm. They're treating her like a queen down there. So we'll right, celebrate right. her birthday after. Yeah. Happy birthday, Katie. Mm, we love you. Mm, twenty. She's twenty. Two zero. Two zero. Probably not a teenager anymore. I know. Oh my gosh. He or Ryan. I'm the last teen. Oh my gosh. All right, you oh. guys. Shout out to Katie. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So stay tuned. We're going to try to make it. Mike is thinking there's two different flights we could take a six o'clock or a nine o'clock or an eight o'clock or something. And he's going to try to make it back so we can get to the six. So I've got to hurry up and finish editing my video. You're going to clean your room. I got a shower and pack. I still didn't work out yet, but anyway. Yeah, right. actually, ready? Set. Ready, set. Two. Five. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, it's just the three of us. Mike scooted We're home from work. Three and four. We're missing three and four. Three is at the beach. Mm -hmm. No, 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 that's not true. Three is at work in Tallahassee at college. And four is at the beach celebrating her 20th birthday. Mm -hmm. Mike, Ryan just reminded me earlier that we do not have, like, she's not a teenager anymore. Oh, right. We only have one teenager. One teenager left. Teeny weenie. He's a teeny weenie teeny. Hi. Oh. I'm on the, the baby. I'm a on ba the higher side. You are. You are. You're on the upper side of teenager. It's not bad to be a teenager. Really? Have you enjoyed your teenage years? Totally. Fantastic. Can be arrested. Oh, shoot. We also yeah. need to register for selective service, by the way. Hmm. I think mm -hmm. that happens automatically, does it not? No. Hmm. I guess it happens to World War III. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> oh, my. I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no. You, you drive me in Europe with a gold scar, I'll clean it out. Oh, okay, thank you, sweetheart. But clean out what? Europe? I mean, a tax shotgun. Wait, I, no, 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 no. I don't want you, I don't want you cleaning out anything. Yeah. I right, love you. Bye. Afterwards. Yeah. Alright, we made it to Dallas. Hey, right? My first time ever in Texas. Welcome to Texas. Uh, a lot of good Texans. Do perfect from Texas. Okay, alright. Um Mark Cuban owns the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. The uh, Dallas Cowboys. Okay. This is what I want to show the you. Bush, the bush. Yes. This look at Dickie's barbecue. Uh, Amazing right. food. When we fly oh back out, we might go eat there. I need to try a water burger also. Oh, is it that funny? I need to too. I People on my flights always say that they want to get a water burger when they're here, and I've never yeah. had one. You should get some Texas barbecue. Oh, definitely. We I will. mean, Dallas is a huge city. Yes. A huge city. Has a lot of good oh, stuff. Oh, oh, oh. It's right Wait there. Water oh, exactly. Burger. Water burger. See it? Right over there. Beep. Yes. Right. And I have this. Okay, we're going to go past. Oh, right over there. Okay. See that restaurant right over there? Hold on, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I was just saying to Ryan that, that I was showing him a couple places in the airport where I, um, where I had frequented before because I did live here for four weeks during flight attendant training, and I got f kind of familiar with the airport. Not that I was here a lot, but I have a lot of very much firsts that happened at the airport, and one of them is this right at the top of here. 
I was just telling Ryan and Dad, Mike, about this is where when I did my operational experience, so like the end of my training, I remember coming through here, security for the first time, and there were a bunch of Southwest flight attendants up here. It was early, early in the morning. They were right up here at the top of that escalator waiting for us with like balloons and flowers and all kinds of excitement, noise makers and everything, to welcome us um, to our first flight. It was very exciting. It gives me the chills to even think about it. Everybody. I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda hard to carry. What? It's kinda hard to carry. Two, two suitcases. I just bumped into this. You did a nice job. <laughs> So when we got to the airport, we're very hungry. When we got to the airport, we're like, oh, look at all these great restaurants. Oh, we want to eat at Whataburger. Oh, I'd really like to eat at Dickie's Barbecue. All these great restaurants. Like, oh, we'll eat there when we go back. Not thinking that all the restaurants were going to be closed around our hotel. So we walk right past. So now we're standing in the hotel lobby trying to decide what we're going to eat for dinner. It is 10.30 at night. Oh, there's salsa. Is there chips? Yes, and there's some snack things too, Chili. Mm -hmm. I brought one of those from home. Okay. Well, we have, look at, this is probably local salsa. Made in Texas. If we had chips. Oh, that's what we should have done. We could have gotten some chips over at the 7-Eleven uh, and had it with homemade salsa. You want pizza? I think, I think this might be the plate today. Okay, very good. You do that. Microwave in minutes. Okay. Oh. I might have a cup of noodles or a lean cuisine. Let's see what we have. Or a cup of noodles. We're now sitting in the lobby of the hotel, Yay. playing a little bit of scat. Ryan, we we just went over the schedule for tomorrow. What are you most excited about for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, just getting there and like meeting all the people. I really have no idea what to expect. It's yeah. kind of how I like it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I'm just gonna smile, and uh, they're feeding us a lot. Of <laughs> so that's oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> right. There's two designated snack times and a lunch. <laughs> so I'm on board. I'm on board. Make sure you keep your cubby cl uh, clean. Yes. <laughs> oh, you told me to have nap time. All right, good luck, people. All right, Mike just won. <laughs> it Remember was terrible. That means? <laughs> that means you're doing the mix and bowl. <laughs> So this is the, the controversy is that one by point. Mike, yeah, one by a point, but also he came up with the stakes for the, what the winner gets after we already started I'm playing and he was already better. winning. I, five, five. I'm so Ryan, do we this. agree to this? Yes, we do. No. So here's what happened. Wait, <laughs> did you already explain? A little bit. So dad, right before the, or after the game starts, he scats. So we both lose a life. It's no, it three lives. Scat. No, he just he knocked, was he went, yes. And he's like, oh, we're by the way, five minute back rub. And I was like, I think you gotta say the bet before we start playing the game. And then everyone's like, yeah, I agree. Her mom was like, yeah, I agree. And then he just kept talking about the back rub. He like manifested <laughs> and, it into until existence. He, until he won. <laughs> Even though me and mom never go, oh yeah, we'll play for a back rub. Never happened. He's, he will he will not stop talking about it until he gets it, I can guarantee you. <laughs> All right, we're going to head into hey, our room. You that you can, ah! like, we both love you. We're both, you know. Right, exactly. We'll take care of it. You're, All right, what made you happy today, baby doll? We'll do you a favor. Uh, safely traveling here. It's been, I spent the whole day with my parents. So yeah. A lot of fun. Awesome. Totally fun. Totally fun. Absolutely. What made me um, happy today is being with Ryan. I haven't been with Ryan for a couple of weeks now. Well, since... Is it a no, maybe a week. We can have. Oh, we can have. We can have something like that. So it's so fun. I love taking the kids on individual trips. Like when we would go to gymnastics trips or we would go on water polo trips or we would go on golf trips. And now we're taking Ryan on a Southwest trip, which is amazing. So I love individually being able to spoil them individually. So that makes me happy. What made you happy today, Mike? Big boy trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, hanging with uh my favorite youngest son. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, and Katie's birthday. Although I don't uh, feel like it kind of wasn't, didn't feel a lot like Katie's birthday only because she wasn't with us, but we'll be celebrating later when we are all together. But Katie's birthday made me happy too. Happy birthday, Katie. We love you so much. And we miss you, Brennan and Katie. All right. So call what made you guys happy today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to find out um, how Ryan does tomorrow. All right. Sure. Take care, you guys.